Happy Wednesday, kids. It's me, Masana, and I hope you all are doing amazing. So, my nieces and my nephew are in town from Arizona, and it was so much fun being with them over the weekend. Let me tell you, my niece, who is three years old, kept telling me to lay down so she can check my tummy and the temperature of my head. Then she kept serving me play coffee. She probably saw how tired I really was. But sheesh, the time has gone by so fast. My 14 year old niece and 12 year old nephew is practically taller than me and I'm 5'10 and all of them are not babies anymore. It's so sad that time is taken away. But speaking of time, Easter is one week and three days away. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Previously in our Wednesday talks, we talked about how God is powerful and how he never changes. And today I want to tell you that God would never leave you. When we think about the stories from Easter, we think about Jesus dying on the cross and then coming back to life, but then he goes up into heaven. It was great when Jesus was on earth because he was right there in people's faces, right? But why did Jesus have to leave? Well, the answer is he really didn't leave. The Bible says that although Jesus was going up into heaven to be with God and prepare a place for us, he said that he was sending a friend, a helper, his spirit to guide us and to lead us through life. The Holy Spirit was sent down to earth to be our helper. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8 says, It is the Lord who goes before you, and he will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. So do not fear or be dismayed. Alright kids, unfortunately Masana is going to leave you for now. I'll see you guys back on Sunday. I love you guys and I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. Bye!